From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Hot air ballooning. Hello, I'm Brittany Jo Henningmeyer, and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. The city of Temecula offers a high-rise escape through hot air ballooning. Reporter Danielle Benavides soars over vineyards and red tile roofs. It's been over 200 years since the first man flew in a hot air balloon, and the mechanics haven't changed much over the years. We're here at California Dreaming to find out more. Back in 1782, the Mongolfia brothers were the first to build a hot air balloon big enough to carry passengers. We got a chance to speak with pilot David Bradley from California Dreaming, who gave us more insight on the art of hot air ballooning. Yeah, a balloon is a very simple uh, instrument or machine. It uses uh, the air, the molecules of the air, but we heat them, and when you excite the molecules, they expand, and as they take up more room, they actually produce lift inside the air mass that they're in. So it's kind of like uh, boiling water when you see the bubbles come out of uh, heated water. So as we're expanding those molecules uh, relative to the air mass that they were in, the lighter air, the hotter air, actually rises into the atmosphere. Then by cooling or venting that heat off, we make the aircraft heavier than the ambient air, plus uh, warmer air inside and the weight of the craft, and it starts to descend. So it's a very simple process. The uh, advancements have been somewhat um, basic from the very beginning. From the initial idea of the balloon and the, the principle of hot air balloons, they have worked basically the same. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the advancements have come in the forms of nylon materials uh, that are uh, much more space age, hold the heat better. Um, the uh, efficiency of the burners, the kind of heat, the amount of heat that we put into the balloon. A couple of crew members explained the process of setting up for a hot air balloon takeoff. In the mornings, we get everybody set, we get all the tables set out, and then when everybody gets there, we get in the van, drive around, find, let a balloon up, find out what the wind direction is, find a good takeoff point, go over there, set up the whole balloon, which is, involves rolling out the tarps, getting everything connected, turning the fans on, getting air in the balloon, then starting the engines up and taking off, and putting everything away. The vents, uh, and we kind of described you know, how we make the descent, are uh, crucial to actually having more control because if we can vent the hot gas out and seal that up quickly, then we can make uh, maneuvers um, more, adjusting the height more, and we can be more precise. And the way a hot air balloon travels is it goes in the air mass. So it's a little bit like a water molecule. I mean, we just go where the air takes us. But if we can adjust the altitude to various heights, we can find different wind layers that will take us to different places. Um, it was great being with the other folks in the basket, and um, it's just beautiful. Everything, you know, the vineyards here are so pretty, and it's very quiet and very relaxing, and you can't even tell that you're moving at all. It was great. The science of hot air ballooning has proven to be one of the most incredible inventions in aircraft history, and here at California Dreaming, you can share that experience. For Local Matters, I'm Danielle Benavides. If you simply want to enjoy the experience of flying, there's nothing quite like it. Many people describe flying in a hot air balloon as one of the most serene, enjoyable activities they've ever experienced. I'm Brittany Jo Henningmeyer. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. <laughs>